the national anthem.
getting ready for the start of the second period. Joe Coulto wins the draw, but has a heavy touch. It comes all the way back down for Harry Harley. He'll gather and take it back behind his net, plays it out, flicked on by Sean Kippen. Warriors will give chase, but that's going to be cool for icing. 12 seconds in. A disappointing first period from the Warriors' point of view. They'll want to get on the scoreboard early on in this one if they are to stand any chance in this game. Remind, of course, that starting goalie Richie Lawson was pulled with about five minutes left in that opening period. Jordan Boyle, former Solway Sharp player himself, of course, is between the pipes now. As Kerr sends it back into Warriors' zone, collected by Harry Harley, plays it across. Carl Ross up to Barnes, who will flick it on and give chase. Now Stuart Kerr will gather. Solway good on the puck. Stuart Tonner carrying it forward. Charvat will send one towards goal. Joe Coulter just ushered away there with a the combination of Harry Harley and Jordan Barnes. Bit of a Scrappy play behind the net there, Coulter's still in there, trying to win the puck back, but it's going to be David Longstaff who will play it out, Warriors will give chase, force, that's going to class as a shot on goal, it forced the goalie to leave his crease, Duncan Spears, on a two-way contract with the Edinburgh Capitals of course, he's uh, in impressive form for the Sharks, cleared, Ben Richards will flip that one on, allows Dean Holland in on goal here, fires, good save though, by Hepburn, and uh, that was probably one of the best opportunities the Warriors have had well, in this game. There's going to be a face-off to the left of his goal. Phil Edgar, Canadian import for the Warriors. Gets it back, shot from distance by Sam Zajac. Another good save though, kicked out. Dean Holland will gather behind the net, battling away there. Tries to get it free for Edgar. Edgar gets onto it. It's only his second appearance since November due to injury, of course. So uh, good to see him back out there for the Warriors, but Sharks have a break on now with Henderson, dropped it back, Edgar will gather, but then sends it back towards Henderson, it was a nice little one-two between them, it's just a pity we're on opposing teams, it's, so uh, it's going to be a busy month of January for the Warriors, it's the first of eight games in this month, a quarter of the season, and it'll be no less busy for the Sharks either, they're coming off the back of an impressive result against the Telford Tigers last week, reigning champions, in fact, treble winners last, last season of the Sharks, we're a good side and uh, it, it shows on evenings like this as uh, former five flyer Carl Horn will gather slammed into the boards though by Ben Richards. Sam Zajac looking to pick out Douglas. Now Ian Bowie, as we said at the start of the season he had a great comeback game after having a couple of seasons out and uh, caused the Warriors no end of problems in that contest. This is the third meeting between the two sides this season. It's uh, one win apiece. It's uh, Solway won in Dumfries on the opening weekend of the season. And then the Warriors won their game at Hillheads. So it's an uh, even contest so far on the uh, wins tally. Bowie looking to get that puck clear. And Zajac will gather that recent signing for the Warriors, of course. A lot of EPL experience. He's a local lad who's... Uh, Spent many seasons away with the Telford Tigers and then Swindon. But uh, it's great to see him back in the maroon and gold for the Warriors. As that one's dumped back in. Charvat, the Czech import. One of the Take two. draw for the Warriors. Czech defense up against Joe Coulter of the Sharks. And the uh, Lions were not happy with the puck drop there. They're going to ask him to retake it. And uh, Gray keeping an eye on David Longstaff. Making sure he's not encroaching in the face-off circle. He's now... Kick Sean Kippen out. Longstaff's going to take the draw for the Warriors. Longstaff just about wins it, but the heavy touch means the Sharks win it back straight away. Coulter passing the puck out nicely to Spears. And a shot from outside from Kurt, pinching Branch in. Second from the line, somewhat. All three can play the centre role. Richards on this right hand side covers the pass, looking to cut inside. Uh, Good young quick player, the baby faced assassin as he likes to be called. Edgar tried to collect at centre ice. Sam Zajac lays it off. Now Holland, he's one on one again. Can he bury it? No, straight, straight at Hepburn. And uh, his momentum carried him through there, and Hepburn took a hefty knock. And Stu and Tonner, far from happy, the respective captains having a, a word with each other. Uh, it certainly looked like his momentum carried him through, but um, it's a second chance at. 
Holland's had in this period then, one on one, but unable to beat Hepburn, who's an uh, outstanding young goalie. But uh, no call has been made. Tonner, in fact, actually has earned himself a penalty for the Sharks. That's a, an interesting call, I have to say. But uh, it was deemed a, a fair challenge by the Willie captain, Dean Holland. And it's the reaction from Struan Tonner, the Sharks captain, who's earned himself a two-minute penalty. A little bit of a delay here as we've got a discussion going on in front of a bench. Carl Horn not happy with something. I'm having a word with David Longstaff by the looks of it. And uh, Ross Murray looks like he's he's having a well. He's having a word with a referee Connor. I don't know if he's going to be in the bench, but as he's wearing an A, so he's the alternate captain. Maybe in uh, Tonner's absence, of course, with him in the bench, he's taking on the captaincy role and he's just finding out what the call is and uh, discussing it as captain or alternate captain he is allowed to do that of course some say Jack just skating over this evening just to have a, a lift. only the second penalty called of course the uh, one on Sean Kippen in the first period saw the Sharks convert on that one and a quick release from Dean Holland and it's in straight from the face off and the Warriors have got to go back three seconds into their power play and uh, there's some boos raining down from the stands because it was Holland who, of course, Henderson of the Sharks. It's Solway who wins it, but the loose puck will fall nicely for Sam Zajac. Gets it across to his defensive partner, Josh Maddock, who in turn sends it up. And uh, Kalarik, the second of the Czech defensive imports for the Sharks, will chase the puck around the boards. Loses possession of it in his own zone. Maddock will throw it back in, and Holland has gone down here. I didn't actually see what happened there, but... He's gone down, and the referee's having a word with somebody. And uh, I've got to say, I didn't see it, so I can't say whether it was an infringement or not. But uh, it looks like the Sharks are going to get another penalty here. As Scott Henderson is heading off to the box. He doesn't seem happy with this at all. Well, maybe... Uh, no, maybe it hasn't called a... No, he has. He has put the two minutes up, but as yet, nobody's got to sit in the box. It's going to be Daniel Abercrombie who's going to go in and serve his penalty then. And like I say, I didn't see what happened in the build-up to that, but I did see Dean Holland drop to the ice, holding his face. So uh, maybe a high stick, perhaps. Phil Edgar will take the draw for Warriors. It's Scott Henderson a little bit eager on the draw there, and maybe it was Edgar who's been kicked out. Holland wins it, gets it back to Edgar, who in turn pushes it back to Zajac on the point. Edgar gets it again, sets up Zajac, shot from distance, goes through the crease. Now DJ Good sets up Edgar. Some Zajac out wide to Ben Richards. Dean Holland, he'll get it back to Richards once more to Zajac. Winds one up, fires it in the back of the net. Go by Summer Drink and get his dog one too. And the Warriors have made this a one-goal game. And it's seemingly the power play is working for the Warriors this evening. It's been an area that they've struggled with for most it's of the season. Sharks Indeed, four, the Whitley Warriors three, and we have a game on our hands early in this second period. Jordan Barnes will collect on the right-hand side. Cole Ross. Pass was dropped a little bit short, but he was able to clear it all the same. David Longstaff again plays it up across to uh, Ross, Barnes flicks it on, Sean Kippen will give chase for Warriors Longstaff, will uh, find, lo we'll find Longstaff in turn, Sean Kippen as uh, Charvat upended, Longstaff closing down his man Carl Ross, unable to keep it in, Duncan Spears is away here, he's got Sam Zajac, sorry uh, Harry Harley there for company but good smothering save by Jordan Boyle. So he knows this, this ice rink well. He spent a season on loan with the Sharks about three years ago. As uh, Kerr will gather. Plays it forward and uh, it's Warriors very much in the ascendancy now. It was a pretty good first period by the Sharks. But um, Warriors have to dig themselves out of a hole. Two power play goals for them has got them right back in this contest. As uh, Duncan Spears just taking his time from behind the net. Dean Holland 
taken on the cup course. course roll. Eddie He's Good, father of DJ, of course, and uh, always good to know that you're listening there, uh, Eddie. As we're back underway here, Scott Henderson coming it forward. Dean Holland put a, a check in there, but uh, was unable to stop him. Ben Rich is carrying it forward now. Just lost possession of it a little bit there. Cole Horn defended that well. Now Connor Henderson looking to find Abercrombie. Is he going to let loose a shot? But uh, Boyle scrambling to get back onto his skates here. He does eventually. Horn with the shot from distance. Kid kick save there by Boyle. He replaced Richie Lawson about 15 minutes into the game. This is the uh, most amount of ice time he's had this season. Came on in relief of Lawson in the third period at Hull just before Christmas. So this is only his second game he's played in this season, but uh, looking sharp and uh, did well last season, I seem to remember, as a, a backup goalie for the Warriors. And he's uh, someone who can take the load off Lawson in that capacity as we got players tangled up behind the, the net. Henderson trying to get it loose for the Sharks. Cough tree just helping it back into that corner and in the end Josh, Josh Maddock will gather the loose puck sends it forward Ben Richards unable to gather and Carl Horn will send that one back in Josh Maddock will drop back across to Sam Zajac that was almost played him into trouble so he had to be quick in releasing that pass Horn clearing it Richards closes his man down Coftree will gather tries to play it out and then comes back for Lewis Houston who's sent Bowie away there. Ah, oh, no, I'm surprised that didn't go in, but a bit of an un unorthodox save there by Jordan Boyle, but he got the job Interesting done. Interesting contest and, uh, so far. Just when the Sharks looked like they were going to get out of sight here and um, make it a dead contest, the Warriors have come straight back into it, and full credit to them. Sharks are such a good side. Very enjoyable to, wa to watch as well as Kalarik will gather. Takes it behind the net. He'll just... Give his team a few seconds to get set before getting play underway again. Finds Cuffery, the young defenceman alongside him. Tonner unable to gather. Comes all the way through. Carl Ross will gather for the Warriors. Plays it across to Harry Harley, who picks out David Longstaff at centre ice. He'll carry it into his own and leashes a shot. And Hep Callum Hepburn made the save, but the puck bounced out of his glove and he was unable to, to cover that one up. And... Uh, Jordan Barnes was almost onto that, sh onto that rebound. Kalarik fires from the, the near side, but Boyle got down low, just got his blocker in the way in the end. That was enough to send it around the post. Still with the Sharks, Coulter drops it back in. And Spears cycling it well, the Sharks, as uh, Spears drops down to one knee to fire that one from distance. In the corner now, but Warriors going to come out with it. They'll look to try and get the break on here. Jordan Barnes, nice little one-two with... Him and DJ Good. DJ will fire from distance. Glove save by Hepburn. 11.23 to go. In then. Three in weeks, of course. They had the last two weekends off over the Christmas break. But Solway have very much been in action with uh, the extra cup games and everything that they've been involved in this season. And indeed, they beat the Telford Tigers last weekend. So, uh, they're in good, impressive form. And it's good to see one of the established teams in this league taking on the, the former EPL sides and getting a result like that. It's... Uh, Speaks Defensive volumes zone. really. That DJ Good coming up against Scott Henderson, pretty much in front of where we are here in the uh, commentary box. Sam Zajac plays it forward. Jamie Ord, he's getting his first shift of the evening for the Warriors. Defenceman playing play on the right wing then on the uh, the Mbawi line. Ross Murray up on the left wing. Josh Maddock plays it forward, Tomlinson unable to gather, he's battling away there with Carl Horn, as we said before, experienced defenceman, has elite league experience with the five flyers. And, uh, you can tell his class on the puck as he sends Murray away. Ross the boss Murray as he likes to be known, as Sam Zajac plays it out. Ross Douglas went down there, he had his head down and he uh, ended up in the board somewhat, but uh, purely accidental as DJ Good brings the puck out, fires. Hepburn will glove that one though, he'll be happy just to get his mitt on that, this face on. But uh, it's Coulter who wins it. And the Sharks have been pretty impressive on the face off draw this evening, they've won more than they've lost. Kalarik leaves it for Spears, who will 
tries to go for the diagonal pass. David Longstaff cuts that one up, gets it back to his D men. Carl Ross sends it back round for Harry Harley. Harley looking to clear it up, and uh, puck will come all the way through. Forces Hepburn to play that one. Now Kalarik, Czech defenseman, he will play it to centre ice. Now uh, David Longstaff will gather. Former GB captain, of course. A very long and illustrious career for Lobby and uh, combining coaching and playing with the Warriors, his hometown team, of course. Now Guthrie, he'll play it out for Coulter at centre ice. He'll delay it off. He finds Tonner, fires from distance, comes back off a of plexi. And Tonner was almost on the end of his own rebound there to fire that one home, but the wild follow up just wouldn't sit for him. Spears sends it back into the danger zone. Well, it's going to be a call cool there as the referee gets in the way of Dean Holland. It's going to be on the Sharks, I think, for hooking on uh, Stuart and Tonner, perhaps. Yeah, he's definitely pointing to the Sharks player. I must admit, I didn't see that happen, but uh, it seems a bit harsh on them, all the same. So with 9.07 to go, Warriors go who's going, going to take the draw. He's got Dean Holland out there as well. DJ Good gets it, fires a shot towards goal, but that's going to be gloved by Hepburn. And uh, clever little move, but unable to convert three seconds into this power play. Edgar's going to go back in there to take this draw. Wins it once more, but it's going to be Sawe who wins the second phase of the play. Charvat will clear as Ajak drops back together, sends it across to Harley. Now Zajak, two very offensive-minded defensemen. And uh, exactly the type of guys you'd expect on the Warriors' power play. Dean Holland has usually been the four forward who will drop back on the blue line. Zajac thought about unleashing a huge slap shot, faked. And then his uh, second shot was closed down. Attempted clearance. Sean Kippin and, and Joe Coulter up against each other again. Their lines have matched up quite well this evening. Warriors looking to try and carry it in. This is the Warriors' top forward line, of course. With Sean Kippin, Jordan Barnes and David Longstaff. And the uh, same two defensemen are out there. Is Sean Kippen's lost an edge and tumbled over. As Jordan Barnes been able to gather that puck first time. Sean Kippen will have to chase back for this one. Harry Harley will gather behind his own net. While he's looking to go again, just under a minute left on their power play then. As Carl Ross will carry this one in. Young defenseman, started out as a forward, but spent last season playing in Canada, and uh, such has been the shortage of defensive options. Five seconds Warriors left on the Warriors Saskin. power play event. Connor Henderson up against. It was uh, Phil Edgar, but uh, Warriors will come out with it. Long clearance. Jordan Boyle will send his teammates away again. Some say Jack feed in Ben Richards. He's looking to cut inside. Can he lay it off to Edgar? He can. Edgar gets it back to the point with Sam Zajac. Now Edgar, he'll look to fire. DJ Good unable to gather that pass from Edgar. Richards will go across. Gets it back. Well done by Sam Zajac. Just keeping it in, but can only force a turnover. Kalarik looking to get away here. Henderson, well saved there by Jordan Boyle as it was a two-on-one break there for the Sharks. But back come the Warriors. One final push on the power play for them. As DJ Good shot goes straight into a bread basket. Dominated the first, 12 to 6. So, uh, the referee will want a retake of this face off. Not happy with the first time round. Face off taking place just to the right of Callum Hepburn's goal. Longstaff will go in for the Warriors up against Coulter. The Sharks have possession of it deep in their own zone. The uh, Stuart Tonner penalty has been killed, so uh, it's the first power play we've had this evening out of the four called where we haven't had a goal scored on one of them. As Charvat will look to clear it. Didn't get enough on it, though, and it won't leave the zone. Now they'll have to go again. This time, Charvat is going to carry the puck out, fires it towards goal, looped over the head of Carl Ross and indeed Jordan Boyle and over the bar. Dean Holland will leave it for. Harry Harley goes all the way back down into the shark zone. Jordan Barnes back out there. Helmets come off again. There's a crunch and challenge into the boards. Barnes will play it off to Longstaff. Nice little one-two between those two. 
Well, DJ Good, who finds himself on this forward line. You'd normally expect to see Sean Kippen out on this centre in this line for the Warriors. That's Drew and Tonner. He's looking to get the break on. Shepherded behind the net by Dan Pye. A shot from distance and very nearly deflected home. Good little play that. Couldn't see which sharp player got the the nick. It might have been Tonner actually or possibly Joe Coulter. But uh, clever little move all the same as Horn will carry this one out of his own zone towards the Warriors zone. Fires low. Good blocker save by Boyle. He'll just cover up the rebound. He's taken no chances on that one. Um, both sides, though, are playing their part in what is a great advert for hockey at this level. There's no doubt about that. There's Ian Bowie. He's going to get kicked out of the face-off circle. Up against, there's Edgar, who's been kicked out, actually, for the Warriors. Ben Richards will go in instead. Richards wins it, finds Maddock, and it'll go all the way beyond the goals. Comes Ajak, finds Dean Holland. Holland off the boards, and... Ben Richards will give chase, Kalavik will get there first, it's going to be called cool for icing I believe. 5.32 to go in this second period. Very much doubt that indeed, uh, it's not really been that sort of contest, it's been good natured and uh, exactly the sort of hockey we should expect from two good sides. As Kalarik finds Kerr, drops it back in for Bowie. Bowie looking to lay it off but Dean Hollands Marking him out of the game for now. Warriors looking to get a quick break on Edgo. Released quickly, but Kalarik read that well. Intercepts, carries it back in. Joe Coulter will give chase. Now off the boards. As the Warriors looking to clear it with Sam Zajak. But back and the Sharks once more. Stuart Kerr carrying it forward. Kerr will drop it off for Ross Murray behind the net. Murray looking to try and catch Jordan Boyle unawares from behind the net. But uh, didn't work. For Edgar, carrying it forward, drops it back in, Warriors will go for the line change, Kalarik almost caught in possession there as Dean Holland closed him down, now Kurt looking to bring it out, Barnes closing him down and Longstaff, a combination of a two force and a turnover, Longstaff looking to try and lay it back off, Barnes has gone with him, in the end he has to pull it back to the blue line, Stuart Kerr will get the clearance though, fans have a crumbie in front of the Warriors bench, who in turn finds Connor Henderson. He was looking to get past Carl Ross. Goes short side, but once again, good save by Jordan Boyle. Warriors looking to try and clear this out of the zone. Sean Kippen, he'll play it along behind the net for Harry Harley to clear. Charvat will get there first, just ahead of Jordan Barnes. And he'll get the clearance only as far as David Longstaff. Longstaff was just in the middle of heading back to the bench. So once again, Warriors getting quick line changes in here. Then a shot from DJ Good as he was falling, lost his foot in somewhat and still was able to get the shot away. A minute after that, the Sharks went 2-1 up and then scored a couple of quick goals towards the end of the period, which forced the uh, changing of the goalies for the Warriors. Jordan Ball coming in the place of Richie Lawson. But the second period, the Warriors have had a couple of power play opportunities, made good use of them. One goal coming just three seconds into the man advantage. And they find themselves just a single goal behind as it stands, but uh, Sharks went close there, shot in the slot, just come back off the boards. Phil Edgar will collect behind his own goal line. Looking to get the return, which he does out on the right-hand side, just in front of us here. Lays it off for Dean Holland. Holland strikes the bottom of the post, but uh, there's no way he would have squeezed that between the post and Hepburn. He, his pad had that one covered, but it was a Good little bit of uh, improvisation there as Bowie collects on the turn. Fires just about saved there by Boyle. Didn't Off know where he right was of Jordan was Boyle's goal. Ian Bowie wins it, but uh, once again, heavy touch. Warriors will win the second phase of play. Charvat keeps it out of his zone, sends it back into the Warriors zone. Liam Smedley will gather, finds Dan Pai. Pai will send it all the way up. David Longstaff did a little bit non plus I think he was expecting that uh, pass onto his tape. That will be called for icing, means that the Warriors have to go all the way back into their own zone to defend this. 2.35 to go then. Sean Kippen will take the draw for Warriors up against... Looks like Ross Murray's going to take this one. Normally you'd expect Ian Bowie to take it. But it is going to be Ross Murray. 
Well, these two had a memorable fight at Hillheads last season. Sean Kippin and Ross Murray, which changed the shape of the game. The Sharks had a two-goal lead on that occasion, and the Warriors, with two minutes to go, ended up tying the game. Uh, so we've got a, a call on, I believe, Sharks captain as well, Stuart Tonner. So uh, a couple of repeat offenders. Henderson gets it back to Horn on the blue line. Horn looking to unleash one of those fierce drives he loves to uh, shoot from back there. And then Abercrombie's shot didn't have too much power behind it. In the end, Boyle was quite happy just to get his body behind that one and cover it up. So, uh, two minutes, 11 seconds left in his second period. Solway with the man advantage here. Kalarik is the uh, import on this lot, and he's dropped back. He's on the point. They'll be looking to try and get it back to him. See if he can unleash one. For now, though, it's Horn. He'll find Abercrombie, who scored on the last power play for the Sharks, of course. Now Abercrombie across to Kalarik. He'll keep it in. Looking to uh, unleash a shot, but Warriors did well just to close off his shooting lane. And Kalarik over to Scott Henderson. Jordan Barnes closing Henderson down there. Action going on in the, in the corner. A little bit difficult to see who has it there. Looks like the Sharks still have it, just about. But Sam Zajac and David Longstaff eventually between them get it clear. We'll shoot it all the way down the ice. Allows the Warriors to make a full line change. All four men change it up. The second penalty killing unit for them. As Kalarik will carry that puck forward. He'll have a nice little one-two there with Duncan Spears. Spent some time with the Edinburgh Capitals in the Elite League early in the season. Be invaluable experience for them, uh, for him playing in the Elite League. Kurt. Uh, lovely pass between Kerr and Kalarik. Warriors will clear out one then with about 35 seconds to go on this power play for the Sharks. And about 50, minute, 50 seconds left in the, in the second period as Coulter will drop this one back in. Comes Ajax looking to clear it, and indeed he does. Takes a deflection off one of the Sharks, who was leaving the ice to go back to the bench. The call's been made on Dean Holland, but it's Sean Kippen who's sitting in the box. As uh, Hepburn will touch that one up. Four seconds left on this power play, and then Sean Kippen will get free. And the Warriors have killed that penalty off then. And uh, this is so that. Ian Bowie almost centred a great opportunity there to uh, Duncan Spears before we head into the second intermission. And it's been a, a period the Warriors have probably enjoyed a lot more than Solway have. Shot from Tonner comes back off the boards. And that will do it then. So uh, Warriors will make, have made this a one-goal game. And... Uh, it's proven to be more exciting than we thought, probably at the end of the first. Please do stick around and rejoin us for the start of the second period in around about 15 minutes' time. Final period here at Dumfries Ice Bowl. The Sharks hold a slender one goal lead here against the Warriors. As uh, Spears comes out with it, then Carl Ross goes to closing down Tonner. Nice little one two between the, the pair of them as Spears follows up with a good shot, but Jordan Boyle in the end just covering that one up. 10 seconds gone. Contest and much more shots as well compared to the the opening period, it was a good 20 minutes of hockey. Obviously favoured Whitley somewhat, and uh, one or two questionable calls by the officials, but uh, it's made for an exciting final 20 minutes here as Edgar finds Holland. Holland trying to send the return pass, but in the end Edgar out-muscled by Marek Charvat, one of the two Czech imports for the Sharks. Charvat, who will carry the puck further forward. Well, uh, 
defended there by Douglas, just sliding himself between. It's, uh, it's one, Sean Kippen will come out with it, but the Sharks looking to go on the break straight away. Tonner got inside here, sends a shot towards goal. Jordan Boyle with a pad low, just pushes it aside. That's, uh, Sean Kippen sends one on the break there, but good pad, good glove save, I should say, there. As uh, Kippen found himself one on one with Scott Dean Holland and Ben Richards with him on this shift. You're never quite sure which forward lines you're going to have when uh, you're watching the Warriors, as David Longstaff likes to change things up all the time. Certainly keeps us commentators on their toes as Solway looking to counter Abercrombie. Couldn't get past Sam Zajak though. Scott Henderson couldn't get the rebound either and Boyle pushes the puck out and the Warriors try and go on the counter but that's going to be cool for Icing. Put a little bit too much of the heavy for Edgar's going to go in for this one. Up against Ian Bowie. And the official's not happy. Looks like we're going to get a retake. Ian Bowie's been kicked out of his face off. And it's going to be Ross Murray then who will go in and face Phil Edgar on this occasion and it's the Canadian who wins it for the Warriors comes back out tips back in by Grievison Murray he'll try and send it all the way around so we are looking to uh, back check here but Holland will try and centre it Edgar gets on the loose puck finds Sam Zajac out on the point Zajac will send it back towards goal Dean Holland at the second attempt couldn't get a shot away now he does but gathered in well by the goalie and yes, they're back in it, but uh, Sharks still with the lead. Harry Harley winds one up, fires just pulled it a little bit, so it was short of the uh, target. Uh, Solway looking to try and get on this, but get it clear, but Whitley doing well to keep it in the zone. Harry Harley sends it back towards goal. Sean Kippen pulls it back from behind the net, picks out DJ Good. Kerr sends it around the boards only as far as Harley he'll flick it back around good will dig this one out as uh, Charvat gets upended as Jordan Barnes goes in to help good and Sharks looking to try and clear it though Duncan Spears on the puck now finds Charvat as both teams are in the middle of a line change here Carl Ross will have to go back to get this one Henderson trying to force the puck off him Ross gets upended as Sam Zajac has to clear it out. Now Ben, the baby-faced assassin, Richards looking to try and get away here. But uh, Dean Holland collects at centre ice. He's going to take it behind the net. Just going to kill some time a little bit here, waiting for the team to get set. He's not going to rush things. Edgar will carry it through centre ice. Lays it off nicely, but Josh Maddock hadn't made the run that... Edgar was anticipating, and in the end, the Canadian will head back to the bench. He's been a little bit frustrated. He's uh, still finding his way back after being out for so long without upper body injury. Uh, as Crumbie brings it in, Scott Henderson fires off a nice snapshot, but Boyle had the near post covered. As uh, Dean Holland sends one towards goal, and that will now be covered there. up. So far, it's paying off for him. DJ Good wins the puck, gets it back to Dan Pye, who has to pinch in to avoid Ross Murray from taking the puck off him. Now Solway looking to counter here with Houston. One of two, this is Lewis, number 36. Now Dan Pye, he's got Ross Douglas out there as well, but does it himself and Liam Smedley had to try and reach to collect that puck as it comes sailing around the boards. This is very much the Warriors' third line here, Simpson. Sends it towards goal, forces a, a save though, it's a shot on goal, definitely. As uh, Sharks looking to try and counter here, Horn fires one. Well gathered though by Boyle, did well to get his full body behind Draw that. up against and, uh, Joe Coulter, as we said before, the, those two are seemingly matched up on every shift when it comes to face-offs. Both teams are on and out three lines just about. So it's... Uh, Top line against top line for both sides as Strew and Tonner drops it back off. Joe Coulter up against the boards with Harry Harley there. Tonner slammed into the boards as well by Carl Ross. Coulter looking to try and lay it off. Tonner will get there first though for the Sharks. Captain of course as he centres it 
Well intercepted by Jordan Barnes, just sort of puck away from uh, Kalarik. As uh, Jordan Barnes is going to be called here for holding. Barnes isn't impressed with that, he's frustrated. He doesn't think that's the right call. It was debatable maybe, but uh, he's certainly not happy. But what it means is the Sharks are going on the power plate. With uh, just under five minutes gone in this third period. Warriors will have to spend the next two minutes trying to kill this off. It's going to be Joe Coulter who's going to go in for the face off of the Sharks. He's got Duncan Spears and Stuart and Tonner alongside him. That's the normal top line for the Sharks. Just waiting for a puck to drop. Eventually it does, but officials not happy with it. The trio of officials are normally to be found in the SNL, the Scottish National League. So this is a, a step up for them in level to officiate this game. Faledka just about wins it, but the puck comes back off the linesman and falls nicely for the Sharks. Charvat looking to unleash another rocket of a shot, but in the end that's the lay it off the Spears. Now Charvat once again, he'll wind one up. Good glove save by Boyle, he spilt it, but did enough to get it clear. Then the follow-up shot from the point, blocked by a trio of Warriors bodies. Charvat looking to try and unleash another one, but back it comes. Spears is keeping the puck moving, he's in a cut inside, now he lays it off to Coulter. Coulter pulls it back to the point for Kurt. Now Charvat fires, hits uh, Joe Coulter on the way through, and he's feeling the full force of that block shot, and he's having to go straight off. That was, uh, he put some weight behind that shot, it would stung I think, but uh, Charvat lays it off once again, comes back to Spears, he's on the point, lays it back off to Scott Henderson, now across to Charvat, the Solway defenseman love to get forward at every opportunity and they've got the quality to do so as Charvat once again forces Ball to make the save but the spilled save there was nobody there following it up and the Warriors hack it clear just about with 50 seconds left on this penalty Tonner he fires but Sam Zajac got down low just closing off his shooting angle and Spears flicks it forward to Stuart Kerr once again although Kerr has to check back to keep that one in Phil Edgar though forces a turnover he was almost away there in the end he's just going to drop it off this is a collision between Charvat and Edgar. Edgar's grimacing a little bit as he leaves the ice. He's, uh, I don't think he's happy with something there. Maybe he just took a little bit of a knot. That's the last thing he wants. If uh, he's just only his second game back, remember, he's still not fully fit. So hopefully he hasn't got a recurrence of that injury. As Larry Longstaff will flick it clear. And that will do it then. The Warriors have killed their second straight penalty. Henderson lays it off to Abercrombie. Sharks queuing up here, seemingly just waiting the fire home. But Carl Ross will gather for Warriors. He's going to play it out. Jordan Barnes fighting hard and pushing the puck further forward. Sean Kippen will clear it. Warriors top lines back out there. Jordan Barnes will gather again. Fires almost between the legs there of uh, Kalarik. Uh, shot from distance and they're oh, just queuing up the rebound but Jordan Barnes couldn't put that one home he was well marshalled away there by Kalarik it's forced the feisty Warriors winger away from goal as Liam Smedley will play it out looking to feed Douglas but Grievison will get there first now now Simpson never long staff choosing to put the third line out here now certainly coming with a lot of energy they've uh, had a few shifts but it should be relatively rested. DJ Good out there as well. He's played a lot of minutes. Important role for the Warriors as well. He's been double shifting at times as well this evening. Most experienced man really on this Warriors team when you think about it of years of service. And David Longstaff might have more years in hockey but nobody's played more seasons in recent times than DJ Good for the Warriors. Ross Murray. He battles away, gets it clear and Good challenge by Dean Holland. Tries to force a turnover. Murray colliding with the boards and upends himself as they're scrapping away with it. Trying to get it clear. Sam Zajac to Pye. Pye will try and clear it. Stuart Kerr collects on his own blue line. Feeds Scott Cooper, former Whitley Warriors player. As we said, spent a couple of seasons with the Warriors. 
His last season he was with the Bellingham Stars, which is his most local team. He hails from Hartlepool. But uh, this season he's playing for the Sharks. Interestingly, no uh, James Hutchison for the Sharks this evening. He's normally the club captain. And uh, yeah. hailed Sean Kippen will take the draw up against, you've guessed it, Joe Coulter. But the officials want a retake. That's not happy with something. Seems to be happening more and more often in these games this season where the officials are asking for retakes out the face off. It's frustrating for fans and it doesn't allow for flowing hockey. Kalarik will leave it. Spears will flick it on. Kalarik will gather up the second attempt. Longstaff looking to try and close him off. Kalarik finds Coulter and the Warriors are full stretch there. And Joe Coulter shows no mercy and fires home. And uh, restores a two goal lead for the Sharks with just over 10 minutes to go in this third and final period. It's a massively important goal for the Sharks at because the pressure was building from the Warriors. The retake now here just with Phil Edgar. Sam Zajak uh, interchange of passing between them. Dean Holland now on the left hand side looking to unleash a wild slap shot, which he does. A little bit of a battle going on between Fred Edgar and Marek Charvat in front of the net, but uh, Solway Gordon will just cover that one up. Or, and palm the point, and he does, gets it back to David Longstaff, fires towards goal, bit of a tame effort in the end. Duncan Spears will gather, he'll look to try and get his team away as Jordan Barnes looks to try and close him down, but Spears was wise to that, got out of the way. Tonner finds Spears once more, Zajac going with him, Spears tried to go near side, but uh, Boyle will push that one aside. Kyle Horn gets it back to Chava. Now Henderson, Scott Henderson I should say, so he carries it forward. And that one will be covered up by Jordan Boyle. 9.58 to go, DJ Good. Tate drops the hook, the linesman, Scott Henderson. Trying to battle his way through there. Carl Ross just looking to clear it. Simpson bundled over there by Grieveson. Now here comes Harry Harley coming again. He'll drop it back off. Comes back. Kalarik will get there for the Sharks. He's looking to carry the puck forward here. Very impressive offensive defenseman. Very much in the oh, that's in. And the Sharks make it six. And Connor Henderson. Applies the finishing touch. Great work by Kalarik. I was just about to say, reminds me a lot of Uri Senko, the import for the Sharks of the last few years. He's a uh, loves to get forward, carries the puck forward. Go and Sam Zajac will get it forward to Dean Holland, Edgar. Now Stuart Kerr, he will look to play it forward. The Sharks have just turned it up a notch these last few minutes, and uh, seemingly given himself enough breathing room now to make this game safe. Warriors have still got a Come again, they'll need to get a couple of quick goals if they want to try and get something out of this game. But Puck will come off one of the beams here, so we're going to stop a good play on the left wing on this. Fly once again. Never long to mix this one up. In fact, he's decided to bench himself here. He's going to take this shift off. Sam Zajak will gather, sends it back along the boards. Liam Smedley sends it up to Jordan Barnes. Is getting confirmation of Connor Henderson getting the goal and Vaclav Kalarik with the assist. As we said, great play by the Czech import, has to be said. As Sam Zajak has a nice little one two off the boards, but well defended and back checked there by Duncan Spears. Good defensive work from him. As Jordan Barnes has got Stuart Kerr almost in a headlock there as he slams him into the boards, but uh, official's not going to call that one. It's a, one of the more blatant penalties this evening as the puck just almost cleans myself and the cameraman oh, out there there. up against Connor Henderson. Longstaff wins it, but Scott Henderson read that play well, was onto that loose puck straight away. Henderson looking to try and get it back here. Longstaff and Maddock will go into the corner with him. Tomlinson will look to try and clear it. Crombie will leave it as well as Reverson will play it up to Scott Henderson on this right wing, number 89. He's pushed over by Carl Ross. That's 
looked like he might have went into the ball's head first, but uh, don't think it was intentional, and the officials certainly didn't call anything as Douglas takes a tumble. Warriors looking to lead it up from the back, but Harley finds Edgar, who in turn leaves it for Richards, who just flashes wide. Harley will send it back towards goal, but Horn just has to kick that clear with his blade of his skate. Now Edgar looking towards goal. Richards fires, just arcs up and over, comes back off the plexi. Then Richards again fires back in. Uh, it's come out, and that will be well saved by Boyle. Finds Smedley Boyle, giving him some instructions there as Edgar lays it off for Dean Holland. Holland with Richards following up. Richards will just send it back round. Dean Holland can't collect that puck though, and the Sharks will look to try and clear it. Abercrombie. Now uh, got a stoppage there with 6.51 to go. And with so, a reminder of the score, Solway 6, Whitley 3. A little reminder as well, of course, that the Warriors will be back in action tomorrow evening at home to the Solihull Barons, where we hope to bring you coverage of that on the radio, courtesy of Warriors Radio. Sean Kipping wins the draw. Dampai goes to close off Booth Tree. That's good. We'll come out with it. Pie once again. Plays it forward. Jordan Barnes will give chase. Barnes went to try and cut inside. Senses it. Takes a deflection off Coftry and almost loops over the goal. Now we've got a stoppage. Face off. Six third to the right of the Solway goal. Phil Edgar's gone in there for the Warriors. Up against Ian Bowie. Then Richardson able to stop that pass and it's just about kept in the zone there but officials have said it came out I actually thought he kept it in but never mind either way it's uh, going to be a face off outside the zone a reminder again then just as we were saying before the Warriors will be looking to try and put that right and what is going to be a very tricky month of January for them I mean, fixtures wise the games will be coming thick and fast and that's a similarly must win game for them as Phil Edgar lays it back off to Josh Maddock across to Sam Zajac Blows down well by Stuart Tonner, forces him to hurry the pass. Dean Holland almost caught in possession there. Sajak across, now up the line and dumps back in. Comes back off the board. The contest is gone and uh, both sides will just be happy to see this one out. As Joe Corter up against Phil Edgar. Warriors will come out with it. Sajak behind his own net finds Dean Holland. Uh, Solway going back once again, Corter. On and stick came up, almost caught, caught in the face there. Edgar upended a little bit there as he tried to stop Struan Tonner. Tonner goes again. Spears will chase Josh Maddock into the corner. Whitley Man will do, just enough to clear it. Ben Richards unable to get it out of the zone. Something was said there, I think, as uh, they collided in front of the Warriors bench. Now Marek Charvat will go into the corner with Richards. Still a youngster, really, Richards, compared to most of his teammates at Whitley, but doesn't mind putting himself about a bit. As Stuart Kerr will go into the corner. Carl Ross almost cleaning out his own teammate there, Ross Douglas. And then Stu Tomlinson will give chase. Duncan Spears will go with him. Spears just shakes him off, out muscles him. He's tripped there a little bit, but again, no call as Ross fires it back in. Solway looking to come back out with it. Connor Henderson just tipping it back into his own zone, but just making sure his team keep possession of the puck more than anything. Grievison across to Horn, back to Grievison again. Connor Henderson closing in on his teammate, but so was DJ Gordon. I think Grievison was a little bit reluctant to pick out his right wing there. Connor Henderson at centre ice. Dumps the puck back in, Dan Pye will clear it, 4.20 to go, just over, as we get classic performance really, and whilst the scoreline is only three goals, as that's a heavy push there by Sean Kippen, on one of the Hendersons I think it was. And Sean Kippen has earned himself another two minutes in the box up here in the penalty box he spent two seasons with the Sharks oh, well ten years ago now but uh, he knows this area well knows the rink well 
one of uh, three sides he's played for in his career, the other one being the D-side Dragons. As Phil Edgar sends one towards goal, well blocked though. Sharks looking to come back at the Warriors with just under four minutes to go in this game. Ian Bowie covers it forward, he's got Kalarik there for company. And then a wild shot from Lewis Houston comes back off the plexi. Warriors looking just to try and clear it here with Ben Richards. But Carl Horn carries it back in. Ian Bowie, he's all by himself at the minute. He's looking for a little bit of support. He's got Ross Murray. Uh, Murray will send the puck back towards him. So interesting, the Sharks have gone with their third forward line on this power play. Obviously, give it, and that's in. That's Ross Murray. Uh, and he's quick to uh, point to Lewis Houston for thanks for the pass. And that is now Solway 7, Whitley 3, with 3 minutes 22 to go. Now take the linesman, just having a word with Lawson, just making sure the net's safe, I think. Perhaps he thought the net was off its moorings, but a uh, bit of a shrug from the Noswall anyway. As the Bucks drop back in. Carl Ross over to Harry Harley. Harley sends it forward, dropped off to Ross. The collision there between Ross and Jeremy Ord, with uh, the youngster Ord losing his stick. And Duncan Spears, the meat and the Whitley sandwich seemingly, but uh, all three players collided. Thankfully, no one appears injured. 3.04 to go. Solway 7, Whitley 3. DJ Good went in for the draw. It's the Sharks who come out with it again, though. As Coftry sends it forward. Dan Pye will gather. As uh, this is going to be another important win for the Sharks, then, as they close in on third place to Telford Tigers and look to make it a four horse race for this NIHL North title. Uh, by no means out of the championship equation and he said reigning champions they know what it takes to lift the silverware it'll be interesting to see what they do in this second half of the season and uh, certainly given the former EPL side something to think about as well which is good to see Tonner sends it back Kalari will collect it our rebound off the boards closed down by Stu Tomlinson just over two minutes to go then. Uh, Scott Henderson carries it forward, lays it off, comes off DJ Good's leg. Connor Henderson will gather behind the net, tries to get it back into the crease. As uh, Dan Pye will have to clear it. Abercrombie will collect though. He'll look to get it back. He's had a good game again. He always seems to play well against Whitley whenever I've seen him. Dan Pye will try to clear it once again. Eric Charvat looking to get it up to Henderson. Now Abercrombie once again gliding through a few of the Warriors players. Sam Zajac stands up at well though. Stuart Kerr just about keeps it inside the blue line, carries it forward, looking to lay it off. Kerr tries to centre and in the end Lawson will cover that one up with just over a minute remaining. North. As I say, the Warriors will be looking to put an end to that. Seven game losing streak against the Solihull base side. Phil Edgar looking to play it out. Ben Richards will flick it on. Takes the rebound off the boards. Couldn't connect well with his shot. Comes off Grievison in the end. Someone's lost a glove. I think it's Ben Richards actually who's, he has. He's lost it behind the Solway net. It's causing a little bit of a trouble as one of the Solway defensemen has to skip over it on the way through. Grievison will carry it out. He's off to Henderson. Cooper is out there as well, and uh, Houston lays it off. He's the one wearing the face cage for the Sharks. Edgar in the corner as well, as we're down to the last 30 seconds. Cooper, Grievison can't keep it back in though, and he'll have to drop that to gather that with just over 20 seconds to go. And the Sharks are uh, easing their way to the victory in what has been an outstanding 
performance from them in this third period. They showed their experience and their class. And uh, despite the Warriors throwing everything at them in the middle of the game and really making a, a fight of this contest, it's the Sharks who are going to win this one. Seven goals to three as we wait for a Man of a Match awards. But uh, that will bring our broadcast to a close. From